Hey, what is up guys? Alex here from Tech Inspected coming to you with a DIY solution for some batteries on your old camera. This is a Lumix LX100 as you can see. Love this camera. Pretty classic, beautiful pictures and video. Um, we have a couple of batteries here, but are, they are a little bit on the chubby side. They are starting to become pregnant. Um, I don't know if that is a politically correct term to use. As you can see, the original battery just comes off by pulling by opening the retaining tab and then it just pops off with the spring now you could mod this by increasing the spring uh tension uh making sure that the the pregnant or the thicker batteries are being pushed out but one other solution you can sort of do is add some diy pull tabs to it i'm using the 3m scotch double-sided tape here I'm just cutting a uh, maybe an inch like this and then folding it over about this much right so this still has sticky and the folded over does not have a sticky and let's the, pick this one and stick the sticky end to the edge of the battery here. Now I'm not uh, including this part for the stickiness because that is the sort of thicker bit of the battery that I do not want to make thicker with the um, extra tape that we're adding. So now we're gonna put this battery in like this and we're gonna close the battery door. It depends on your camera if it will accept the extra little paper on top or the, the tape on top as you can see, the battery still does a pretty decent job of booting the camera and using it. I don't have a, ba on, a memory card on it right now. And then when you need to switch batteries, you turn it off, take off the cover, and out pops your pull tab. And then you just pull this like that. Now, if you don't do this with any with the other batteries, they, d they tend to be hard to remove. And I'll just demonstrate. I'm not going to remove it because it's a bit forceful how to take them out of the, the LX100. So, as you can see, turns on, turns off. But to remove the battery, I would have to knock the camera a little bit. And then uh, eventually it pops out and then you just keep that keep doing that and until you have a grip on the battery and that's when you can pull it out so the best solution here is to just add this pull tab here and i'm not uh you want to look into the camera's battery compartment there you go it pops out <laughs> you want to look into the battery's cam uh the ba camera's battery compartment where the best place to put the pull tab is because some parts of the battery compartment have little holes and other things that the the pull tab can snag on. But as you can see, I put it on this side where there is no obstructions or some things that the pull tab can snag on and you just pull it out like so. And at least that saves you a little bit of um, hassle when it comes to putting older, maybe third party batteries in and out. Credit to Panasonic for the reliable, non-pregnant battery that I have. Um, it's possible that you should buy these, but these were very affordable at the time and I needed spares. So there you have it, Tech Inspected here, Alex, and uh, hope that helps you out. See you guys next time. Bye.